Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome to this new Let's Play of Pandora First Contact, or Pandora Eclipse of Nashira, after the first uh, expansion. Um, this game is basically a uh, 4x game set to space. Uh, Empire Builder, similar to the Civ series. Of course, the one that most resembles is probably Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri. It'll, it'll feel very familiar if you play that game. Um, so yeah. And let's see, we're just gonna dive right in here. Uh, you have your basic settings, you have your basic factions, you have your fanatic spiritualists, you have your militarists, you have your economic faction, you have your industrialists, you have your tree huggers, your diplomats, and your scientists. You know, the, this feels extremely familiar, these factions. At least in the onset, right? The bonuses are, of course, a bit different because the game is a bit different. But a lot of it feels very familiar to uh, Alpha Centauri. And it's kind of impossible to not compare it uh, to that game. Though it is distinct in many ways. And we'll get to that. Uh, I think we're going to go with the Noxim Corporation. Which is basically uh, the economic group. You'll gain more money from taxes. You'll have better prices for, for trades. You'll start with a bit of money and you'll have more trouble. Housing all your people. Uh, we're gonna start with a large planet. And I need, I want room to grow and explore. Continent shapes, that's fine. Difficulty, we're gonna start on medium. Uh, aggr alien aggression, well, it's gonna be a medium. Uh, it is, it's been a while since I last played this game, so I haven't, so I don't remember all the details. So yeah, we're gonna try to do a fairly easy game and see where it takes us. Because we're going to explore the mystical world of Pandora, which is basically, as far as I understand the background story, um, Earth has basically been, well, uh, things haven't gone well back, back, back home. So in the 20 ages or so, they suddenly find a new planet, and everybody races to settle it, while they lose contact with old Earth. And that's, I think that's the starting premise. At any rate... We're gonna dive in and see where we can get with this. It is the year 2107 AD, and mankind has reached out to the stars. After decades of exploration, discovering nothing but dead rock, our quest for a second Earth has finally come to an end. A terrestrial planet in the Nashira system has become the symbol for humanity's hopes and dreams of a new paradise. The most powerful factions, distinct in their ideologies and beliefs, have sent expeditionary forces to stake their claim to this new world. Eric Preston, leader of the Economic Noxium Corporation. Your people value riches above everything and have elevated trade and haggling to art forms. While they are highly skilled in all forms of commerce, their extravagant style and pretentious architecture result in a waste of living space, noticeably felt by the less fortunate individuals of your society. Okay then. Yeah, so be it. And we can, of course, read the background story for the guy and all that, all that fun stuff. Because um, I believe this is basically a story of how the factions ascended and how they built their uh, 
various space station, uh, space uh, ships, and all that fun stuff. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't think we're gonna worry too much about that. Uh, da, 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 da. We're just gonna go in, and as you can see, we have our basic little setup here. Uh, let's see if we can get the resource toggle on. There we go. So, we have our little landscape. Oh dear. Looks like we landed in the far north. Tons and lots of tundra. Ugh. Ugly. So, what do we have to... Um, what kind of a landscape do we have? Well, we have a few forests. That, that's good. We have an observatory here, which will give us bonus science. That's useful. Uh, other than that, not much in the... Not much distinct... In the landscape, really. Yeah, well, we'll see what we can make of this. Um... We have our colonizer here. I'm kind of surprised. I mean, if you saw the intro animation, there were tons and tons of these little ships landing, but apparently <laughs> there are only seven that actually made it down. Um, okay, uh, we're gonna build here, I think. Yeah. Well, let's settle in place and see this where we can go. This city is what it is because our citizens are what they are. And there are tons they of these. Know. Yeah, there are tons of these, these little quotes and all that stuff, which feels very familiar if you played of oh, Centauri. Um, yeah, basically, yeah, 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 we found the city. Awesome. Uh, and we have our little colonial trooper here, who's gonna start exploring a bit. Let's go in this direction, because the train here saw... looked nice. Oh, and we've already found... some pesky aliens, so we wanna avoid those. So, we can get information here about all the things we find. Uh, we found an observatory here. 50% science, more sight range. All good things. So, an alien structure, a largely intact observation tower constructed with al uh, alien technology eons ago. It's both a marvelous sight and a real boon to our scientists. It greatly boosts the research output of the controlling city, not only by allowing our scientists to study the sky, but also by letting our observ us observe the aliens themselves from a safe distance. Because this planet is inhabited, so to speak. It has quite a few critters. Uh, let's see, what other things have we found? We found aquatic maxalian. Okay, a train feature which basically increases the mineral yield quite a bit. Lovely. So that's good for production. All the way up there, though. Uh, outside our range. Oh, well. We also found fungus, which is basically alien life. Which increases pollution, that's what this barrel is for. Pollution is bad. The forests reduce pollution, but uh, fungus increase it. We also found the aliens, xenomorph drones. Xenomorphs, also re referred to as bugs by soldiers and civilians alike, are the multi, uh, multitudinous. Am I going to say that the word? Multitudinous. Okay, insectoid natives of the planet. Yeah, they're the size of a man, and their sheer numbers mean that they could wipe us out <laughs> yeah, by, by our colonies easily if they turn hostile. They make the tranquil wilderness of Pandora a very dangerous place indeed. Yeah, and they're equally strong, uh, if I, I think, to our colonial trooper at the onset. And we also found hot springs all the way down there, which boost morale. Lovely. At least I think that's the morale signal. Uh, I got, yeah, it is. So yeah, well, let's see now, what all other things do we have to do? Choose research. Yeah, let's do that. Now the research tree in this game scrambles every single game, so things will be a bit out of position and you'll have different prerequisites and all that kind of stuff. They won't move far, but they will move one or two fields. So it won't be the same every single game. Uh, and there are a few texts I'd really like. Depending on where they are at this <laughs> this session, um, I do want to go out to, out to sea, and then we need this tech. Uh, we could use the uh, ATVs, which is basically quicker exploration units. Mm. There are tons of little projects that could be useful. Though, I, in all honesty, I've forgotten what most of these things are. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go with the ATV for starters. I think I want ATV and into Naval Logistics. 
I want to explore as much as possible because there are goodie huts. Or the equivalent on the map. Ooh, the city of Buffett. <laughs> Can you imagine who that's named after? Hmm. Yeah, and then here you have our basic output for the first city. We have habitat yield, which is basically how much room we have, uh, how quickly we grow. We have food, we have minerals and production, and production basically eats the minerals, so you need to produce minerals in order to expand. We can see that this is going to be the next square we take, which is good. That was the food square. No, it wasn't. It was the mineral square. Yeah. Yeah, we want that square, so that's fine. We're producing a fair bit of research. Um... Let's see, we're producing two from scientists, a bit from morale. Uh, 1.1 from territories, which I believe is this. Which, no, which increases the yield by 50%, but that's before buildings. It increases the yield from scientists plus morale. Yeah, that's 50% of 2.2, yeah. So buildings are in addition after that, apparently. Okay. So the bonus isn't maybe as strong as I thought. Uh, credit gain, our morale gain, pollution, all the good things there. We can move our population to other fields, to mine, to workers, to farmers. We're going to keep them as scientists. And I do believe that's the most valuable task for them at the moment. Uh, production queue. Yeah, we're gonna, probably going to get a few more colonial troopers, so we can explore a bit. And the former, so we can start altering the terrain and stuff. So, let's see. This looks like the best way to expand for now, at least. Depending what's out there. If there are aliens there, uh, maybe things aren't as nice. Okay, we discovered fungus. Uh, did we already discover that? Okay, um, I thought we already did. Found fungus up there. Oh, that's sea fungus, so it's kind of different. That's why we got a new pop-up. Uh, I don't think they'll attack us. I certainly hope not. Might be an alien high somewhere in the area. Um, speaking of, I think we just found something. And we also found a ruin. Where? A ruin beneath that flying thingy bob. Let's go between the aliens, because nothing possibly bad can happen there. So, what we found? We found a ruin, which is basically one of those goody huts. So need to go and explore that. We found skites. Airborne light biological units. Yeah, so they're basically flocks of these flying predators. Travel large distances each day, searching them for prey. While smaller objects like humans seem relatively safe, we've received reports of skites mercilessly attacking the undefended machinery. Our undefended machinery, okay. Hmm. So that's the flying version of the aliens. And we also found a Galeth. Heavy biological unit, plus we turns and powers at undefended cities. So that's basically ouch. Okay, so that's something of an armored battering ram, more or less. Fittingly doubted as giants due to their height over a dozen meters. These clumsy beasts can easily pulp. Uh, tanks or city blocks <laughs> when on a rampage. The bizarre cranium sting bypasses uh, even our strongest armor. Okay, so combat with a Galath should be avoided until we discover more advanced military technology. Mm, okay. So there are lots of these alien life forms which are kind of dangerous. But they're mostly friendly at the beginning, or rather, they don't really care about you. And that's good. They're gonna ignore you for a while, and then they're gonna be turn. Then they're gonna turn hostile, and things will not be so pleasant anymore. So you need to be ready for that eventually. And we also found zenite flowers. Those red little things down there. Fifty percent production bonus. Lovely little thing. Zenite is a wonderful plant. When when administered as a drug, allows the human body to uh, enter a state of trance, resistant to exhaustion and uh, number of numbers of and num and numbed to pain. Okay, yeah. Uh, while a person working capacity is significantly increased by its usage, even a slight overdose results in an instant cardiac arrest, thus requiring a continuous monitoring of any workers who use it. 
Sweet. So, down here looks certainly like where we want to expand first. It doesn't have fungus, it has some fairly open landscapes. Uh, some hot springs down there. Sea night flowers. Yeah, what was the range of colonies in this game? Uh, looks like two squares. Okay, now we know that. So, there you can't reach any further than, say, here. So, a city there, for example, would eventually reach both the hot springs and the xenite flowers. It wouldn't be coastal, though. Um, uh, we'll see what we do. Our first city is still a long ways away. Uh, the ruin. Yes, let's go explore the ruin. The aliens left, so... We could imagine nothing pleasanter than to spend all of our lives digging for relics of the past. Honrik Schliemann. Okay, somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We found ruins, aliens, left behind all kinds of goody things. Um. <laughs> yes, you know, we knew these ruins weren't built by human hand, but now we're more worried about what destroyed them. These structures are far beyond our capabilities, uh, able to withstand all we could throw at them. Even our diamond drills can't remove the polish from their surface. Yet here uh, they lie, hollowed ruins. The inhabitants long ago scooped out. And they definitely weren't built by the local species we've encountered so far. Thankfully they were destroyed millennia ago, so hopefully their destroyers are long gone too. Ooh. Yeah, sure they are. What did we actually find then? Ruin explored. When exploring an ancient ruin where your troops uh, show outstanding tactical fortitude by dispatching a layer of man-sized alien leeches without suffering any casualties. Gained four unit ranks. Okay. Nothing immediately useful maybe, but... Uh, let's continue exploring in this direction I suppose. See what we can find. Okay, we have researched the uh, Seeker ATV, light by a mechanical unit which has higher movement speed. Despite similarities between Pandora and Old Earth, uh, tweaking popular, yeah, proper, da, 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 yeah. Basically, we're gonna get a new unit. Lovely. We can go straight to the workshop and create new units. Uh, though I think we can't really do much. We only have some very basic guns and that's pretty much what we're going to get. So that so we'll have a secret ATV which has three movement instead of one, uh, instead of two actually. Three instead of two. Uh, greater sight range, yes. Uh, stronger combat, oh, that's production cost, okay. Upkeep cost, yeah that's higher. But the same power or combat strength. It's okay. A nice little unit. Uh, to keep going in this direction. Oh, we can move further than that. That's fine. Mm, we are going to go into our colony now. Let's see. Secret ATV. Want one of those. Instead of the colonial trooper. I'm going to finish the one we started, I guess. I assume that we can't switch production without costing us anything. No, we can't. Can we buy one? We can. You know what? Let's purchase a secret ATV. And then build another colonial trooper for defense, I think. And then we're gonna go from there. So there's our secret ATV, uh, which is faster. So let's explore a bit. Oh, there's a ruin on the ruin there too. Why didn't we get a pop about that? Pop up about it. No matter, we're gonna explore it. Okay, fine, we're gained. Yeah, scavenging through an old ruin we've left behind today. We found 19 minerals, which is kinda useful. It's raw materials, we're not gaining minerals right now, but we're not spending minerals on production either. Um keep going this direction. What did we find? The Devourer. Okay, another airborne alien unit. Much stronger one. 
Massive winged beast who devours shadow is widely known as the harbinger of death. When its meaty long jaws and with, with its meaty long jaws and claws, uh, the creature can lift and swallow even our heaviest tanks. Okay, okay, not one we want to mess with, but I don't think it's gonna attack us yet, so that's gonna be fine. Uh, yeah, we completed the ATV. That's basically we spent all the m our starting money building that ATV. Hopefully. It'll be to our advantage. Why do you not uh, notify me about ruins then? Do I only get that notification the first time? Do I actually have to spot the ruins from here on out? Uh, it could be unpleasant. Uh, try to go through here. I want to make sure that this is a coastline. Yeah, it is. Uh, okay, go further. Uh oh, I think we found a neighbor. I saw something up there. Um. There are aliens there. Uh, okay, we're gonna sneak through the aliens here, I suppose. Uh, Buffett has grown. Yeah, now I have two population, population here. One of them is now working as a farmer. That should increase the growth a bit. Uh, we have found panspermia see, see, reeds, yeah. Basically, more food. Out of the open there. And see that square there. So there's almost certainly an, another faction up here. And that's darn close. I thought we'd, we would have, a, have more room to grow. And we also found an oil field. Ooh, money. Yes, we want money. And let's see, that's a reduction of food, an increase of minerals, and a bonus to credits. Interesting. We can take you, we can make use of that, I suppose. Hmm. Now the aliens decide to block our scout there. That's not nice of them. Um, we can move there at least. Can we move through? Okay. We generally don't want to stop in the middle of the uh, of the fungus because that damages our units. At least biological units. I'm not sure about our mechanical units. We'll see. Uh, things we found. We found a Noxium field. Increased mineral gain and reduced morale. That's what our faction is named after. Noxium Corporation. Uh, we found an alien hive. Okay. Uh, so basically that's gonna produce aliens unless we remove it and it is heavily defended. So not something we can do. Also Xenomorph Queen which is basically gonna birth new units I believe. Significantly larger and stronger than drones, yeah. Mm hmm. Xenomorph Spitter. Okay, so that's basically their artillery con construct, I believe. My aliens have quite a few different units. But I have an issue with seeing these ruins. If I'm not going to get notifications when you ever spot one, I'm going to have trouble uh, seeing them. Have I just passed a ruin then? Without doing one? Or did, or did I just miss the notification? I don't know. Mm, I have to be careful about that. We want our goodie huts. And uh, now the aliens decide to block us. Now we can kill this bitter. I honestly don't know if the aliens become hostile if you attack them. You have an equal chance there, but we certainly can win you against you. Didn't you get some kind of experience? Rank 5 of... yeah, okay, unit experience. Each successful rank increases. Unit power by 50%, so instead of just 2, it has 2.6. That's good. So you're a lot stronger. So let's see, we can attack them, the uh, spitter, which has very little power, since it's a ranged unit. Uh, we have 3.8 strength in total because of our base strength plus 
the weaponry we're using, the terrain, the rank of the unit. Uh, estimated casualties is pretty much on our side. 13% casualties. Uh, let's go for it if we can. Hey, and in attacking we actually learned some new things. Uh, Xenomorph Pheropod. A device. Converts native life to our side. Interesting. These pheromone analogs that we've discovered allow us to permanently domesticate the natives' wildlife, uh, turning them into horribly effective car dogs. Interesting. So we can now change our units. Let's have a look at that. Uh, device. But it increases production cost by 50% and reduces power by 50%. Ah, okay. So we need more power before we can even use that device, otherwise we'll never actually defeat the aliens. But at least we have the tech now. We didn't actually go to this square. Well, that's unfortunate. I would have thought I would have thought that would also be part of the whole process. Uh, da -da -da -da. Can I cancel order? There we go. That was the button I was looking for. And a new guy is ready. He's going to defend. Uh, is there no fortify? I suppose that's hold the hold position. Hold position until an enemy. Yeah, that's not what we want. We really want fortification, but I assume that's that in this game. And you end your turn within the Noxious field, and I think it damaged you. Yeah, it did. Let's try see if we can sneak past here. Oh. It looks like we can't actually reach that faction up there. We're gonna have trouble getting through all the alien wildlife. Yeah, we built an alien trooper, that's fine. The ATV yeah, was damaged by standing in the fungus, which was expected, and we found the whole ferropod. Yeah, that's good. Okay. I think that's as far as it's going to go in this first episode. It's time for a break. Now, uh, if you enjoy watching this series, or if you'd like to support my channel, please consider hitting those like and subscribe buttons, because that helps the channel grow. Um, and of course, if you have comments or feedback for me, the comment field should be just down below. And as always, thank you for watching.